Hi everybody, welcome back. So I thought I'd do a real quick uh, workbench update for you. <clears throat> Haven't really gotten anything complete uh, this week. It's been a crazy week um, working in um, school for my daughter. She's gonna start going back and doing uh, the hybrid. So two days in school, two days at home. Um, so they had, she's just a freshman this year. So she's never actually been to her school yet until, uh, Thursday. So she had to go there for a couple hours on Thursday to get like a freshman orientation and all that kind of fun stuff. Um, and then today it's been, uh, really, really nice here. It was about 82 or three degrees here today. And, uh, my wife, daughter, and I went to um, Woodburn, Oregon to uh, the Tulip Festival and saw some beautiful flowers and spent some time out, out in the sun, out together and stuff. So it's just been a busy week, but uh, I just thought I'd show you some of the things that um, I have been working on and um, a couple of things that I've received in the mail. So uh, let's get started. So, um, start off with, I'm working on this AMT 1970 Corvette. I'm doing the ZR1, and it's a 125th scale. And I'll show you where I'm at with that. So, here's the, oh, let's just do it this way so I'll drop it. Here's the interior. And a firewall, brake cylinders. So far, it's been a pretty easy kit to work with. A um, little bit of flash here and there, but not a really big deal. Um, everything so far has gone together pretty well. So there's the interior. Here's the engine. And what do you guys notice about the engine? I actually put a distributor cap on it for the first time ever. Um, so I'd like to uh, thank all of you for encouraging me, uh, showing me how you guys do it on your channels and everything else. Uh, it wasn't that bad. I think I was making it out to be a whole lot worse than it was. So there it goes. I'll get better at it. Could definitely be improved. So there's that. There's the underbody. Not much. So there's that. And then I just put the 2K clear onto this one, onto the body. And uh I don't know if you can see that, but there's some specs in the clear for some reason. I'm kind of hoping that I can wet sand those out. I'm not exactly sure where they came from because the, the body was clean when I uh, put it into the spray booth. And uh, the paint on this is Nassau Blue. It's from uh, Splash Paints. And I think the color actually looks really, really good. I like it. Yeah, I'm not really sure where that is, and I'm kind of hoping if I can wet sand that out, that, you know, I can remove those. Because like I said, this kit's going together really, really well. Also, um, <clears throat> just as a side question, does anybody know if you put a 2K clear onto a car um, and using a lacquer paint and all that kind of stuff, uh, will the... Uh, purple power uh, degreaser stuff remove it from the model will it eat through the lacquer and the 2, 2k clear does anybody know there's that show you the hood real quick like I said I just did these a uh, couple hours ago 
So they've not been wet sanded or anything like that, but I think the 2K clear came out really well. So there's even a few specks in the hood too, and I'm not, not sure where they came from. That it was clean before I did this, so I'm not sure. And then uh, the hood on the back is just black. There's that. And um, so a couple other things. Had a little mishap with uh, one of my Three Musketeers uh, guys. So I was working on the cape. Right, and this is the villain for my Three Musketeers diorama. I think the cape's coming out really good. But his hand broke off while I was painting it. So I got to fix that. I'm not real happy about this. I'm kind of hoping the five minute epoxy I have, and I may end up having to drill a hole in here to uh, pin his hand back on this, but I'm kind of hoping that'll take care of that. So there's that, and I'll just show you where we're at with that particular piece. I think his uh, clothing and everything is turning out really, really well. Except for his broken hand. There's that. Again, these are all done with oil paints. So there's that. There's his hand. At least it was a clean break. Oh, I sound like I'm still working in the hospital. <laughs> anyway, okay, so um, got a little bit of a stash ad to go over. So I thought I'd show you that. Hold on. First item is this Tamiya. Alpine. Uh, I got this off of eBay. I just like the look of this car. It kind of reminds me of a Carmen Ghia a little bit. Uh, but uh, yeah, this should be fun. And it's a brand new kit, not been touched. Uh, it doesn't have the shrink wrap on it anymore, but it's essentially a brand new kit. So there's that. Oops, sorry guys. Hit the camera. And then this Hasegawa uh, Volkswagen Type 2 Microbus, the 23 window version. Again, also got this off of eBay. And uh, I think this is 125th scale. No, it's 124th scale. Yeah. So there's that. This should be a fun build. I'm actually thinking about maybe doing it like a like a hippie mobile, but I'm not entirely sure yet. We'll see. Um, but there's that. And because I love Ferrari so much, I picked up the Hasegawa Ferrari 348TS. Where's that? So I got those in the mail. All of these came off of eBay. And then sorry guys I got this off a of Kickstarter for those of you who like board games this is uh, volume one of the decisive victory series by Legion War Games it's Soissons July 18th through 23rd some FT-17s in there those are American FT-17s, by the way. Uh, this just came in the mail. It was on there. Actually, it wasn't quite a Kickstarter, but it was, uh, you know, like, uh, oh, what do they call it? Like GMT has their uh, 500, 500 list. So, you know, they, they put a game up, they get up to 500 orders, and then they'll produce it. And this is one of those. And I think it was, I can't remember how many, they had to order, I think it was like 250 or something. They order, order produced a game, so there it is. Nice for uh, solitaire suitability for me. 
since uh, I don't have too many people around here that play board games. So there's that. So that's about all I have. Just thought I'd show you guys uh, what I got in the mail and what I've been working on the last couple of days. I hope you like it. Um, I've got some other things in the works. Um, oh, I forgot. I got one last thing. Sorry. Forgot, forgot, forgot. I don't know if anybody has seen this or used it before. This is Tamiya or Tamiya, Tamiya, Tamiya paint retarder for using their paints right out of the bottle. If you want to brush the paint on. So, you know, sometimes uh, to me, a paint can be a little bit difficult to uh, brush paint with. This actually kind of smooths it out and levels it. And I'll actually do a um, little uh, tutorial on how to use this. But uh, this just came in the mail, too. Um, anyway, so first of all, uh, thank you, everybody, for watching. If you do know if um, the Purple Pond or Purple Power will... Uh, remove lacquer paint and 2K clear from a body. Uh, please leave that in the comments and let me know. And then uh, also I'd like to thank all my new subscribers I've picked up over the last week or so. Thank you for coming by. I hope you like the content here. And um, I hope everybody else is doing well and I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Uh, I go back to work tomorrow night, so I'll be working for four days and I'll be a little busy. Also, I've been trying to keep up with everybody's videos. Um, again, what a crazy week. I'm really behind, so I haven't been able to watch everything. So I apologize. Um, everybody that I have seen, you're all producing some beautiful work. Uh, keep up the good work, everybody. All right, so that's all I have. Uh, I hope everybody's doing well, and I will talk to you all real soon. Bye.